And now time for something completely different from me. Hey there, and welcome to Fortnite. And I'm playing it. Who knew? Old people play Fortnite? Yes. Yes, we do. This is a game I got involved with back in December. I tried a game before that, uh, I can't remember when, but it was uh, PvP, so the Battle Royale where it's players on players, you build walls and all that good stuff. I'll get more into that later. And I just wasn't into it. I'm not into PvP kind of games, taking on other players, especially in combat, third person situations. However, they came out with a PvE portion called Save the World. And it was half off around Christmas time of 2017. We figured, well, eh, why not? Bought it. I've been playing it. My wife's been playing it. And my son was playing it. And my son slowly drifted off, but my wife and I, for whatever reason, for an important weather alert. we keep playing. So here's just a random battle Something called... Something weird has been happening in this zone. Encampments. The husk encampments are going berserk and spawning huge waves of enemies. Whatever's happening, we need to stop it from spreading. When you find an active encampment, be ready to fight until the end. And there. According to my data, we have 20 minutes to neutralize the targets. Search the zone and keep an eye out for any encampments that look angrier than usual. I'll keep an eye out from here. So that's a rough rundown of what this is all about. This you encampment have... is not active. You have this huge, huge map. You look up in the sky for these little lights that are, you know, like, look like spot lamps and just run and kill husks. Now husks are this game's version of zombies. And if you see, I got three little bars up. off to the left hand side. Take out the enemies to clear the encampment. And they grow as you do more things. Now I'm using a mythical character called Lynx Cassandra. One down. Let's find the next one. And she's the okay. The next encampment might be stronger. Make sure your weapons and ammo are ready to go. Oh, I can't pick up that because I have too much stuff in my backpack. So literally, all this is is you just run around, you look for the spotlight, and you kill the husks, and you complete the level. Now, if you see those three bars off on the right-hand side there, cross swords, what looks like a hammer and a wrench another one with a hammer and an anvil. The top one is literally every time you kill something, that bar goes up, you go bronze, silver, gold, and then you get into a platinum stage and get lots of rewards. This one, watch this. Plus two. Take out those husks. Every time you search or you build something, that bar grows. There it is. And uh it grows, and yeah, you just have tons of fun. Oh, I don't have that ability here. I have a thing called a drone, which is one of these little things that you get along the way as you level up. And yeah, there's a lot to describe about this game. And being a casual player, I don't really uh, know all the stuff. All I know is I just load up the game, and I kill time, and I have lots of fun doing it. There's so many different types of characters in here. Like, that guy's kind of Two a stone down. angel. Let's find the next one. There's a robotic the bear that one. are getting stronger. Make sure you're prepared. That one guy can put out called Outlanders. That's him. I have that character too. He's known as Grizzly Enforcer. See? Hey, how you doing? Give him a little bit of a dance. Okay, that that that's just silly. I use a shotgun, which is this can't really turn. You can see I can turn and you can kind of sort of see it. It's called a stal Stalwart Squire. It's a single shot, fairly quick reload, and I've modified it to really be a kick butt kind of weapon. See, you just walk up to somebody. Hi, how you doing? Good night. Even these bad guys who throw propane bottles at you. Just good night. It ends them quite quickly. Now let's get out of here Round before three. Fight. For as powerful as I am, I'm not that powerful. There are so many things to try and describe about this game, it's just unreal. <laughs> Literally, it's by Epic, and I got involved with them the way back 
in the late 90s on a thing called Unreal Tournament, which is still going strong. You're done, encampment! And this one's looking tough. You can do it. To sum it up, what it is is the Earth's been taken over. 98% of the population has been just erased. And you're left with this twisted, falling apart, cartoonish type world where you go around and just Keep that streak going. save survivors. Which is uh, one of the things you do. Encampments, which is another one of these. You get to help a guy put his van with hot air balloons into the clouds to help you out with other missions. And there's so much micromanagement in here. That it's just... Oh, it's enough to make you. Negative. Well, and you can't search, of course, from being attacked by these bugs. There's one of these huskies running around with a beehive on his head. I think it's a really cool hat. That guy right there. And of course the bugs stay behind and get you, which is not good. Now, Fortnite, you can download the PvP part for free and play it. Battle Royal. And you go around and you just try and slay each other. You can Amazing. build structures like Can't this, like ramps and walls and all that, to help you, uh... Like, literally, Get you're being shot at. Hammond. You can throw up a brick wall, a steel wall, a wood wall, depending on your resources, which if you see in the upper left-hand corner there, I got 3,000 of each. But here, you're just mad dash, trying to beat the timer, 20 minutes to take out five encampments. And any encampments Get after that... Our bonuses, and you get points for it, which help you with upgrading your character. Sometimes you can get uh, gold to buy new characters in the store. You get experience to help bring some weaker characters up more up to par. And they have different levels of characters. You have common, uncommon, rare, legendary. And there's a few that have come out called the mythic. And this is the girl that I got right here, who resembles my wife, uh, is definitely mythic. I was able to buy her a couple months ago now, since this is now February. I've been at it for about three months off and on. Very much a casual gamer. Like, I'm not competitive by any means. There go why I'm not really into uh, the PvP part. Destroyed. Done. This is what I want to play when I just don't want to. Oh, why would you do this? See, I have no idea why this guy's doing this at all. Other than maybe to grief me a little. And there are players like that. When you start playing with other people, of course, you know, they do this kind of thing. But what he's trying to do is, if you look on the lower, or the right-hand side again, see that little bar? He's building, the const building this. Oh, I'm just not working my tongue well here to help us with the bonus for construction. Because you really don't need to build anything, so all you're doing is just running around and killing things. Plenty of things to explore. Like right now, we can go in the basement here. And there'll be husks down here. Also treasure boxes if you know where to look for them, if they happen to be down here. See, there's other boxes you can check out. Sometimes they give you traps, sometimes they give you weapons, sometimes they give you, they give you components to build or upgrade your current weapons that you've got. Like I said, this is not designed to be a complete walkthrough tutorial video. This is just a gameplay video and a few random thoughts as I'm playing. There's nothing really much down here. We have 12 minutes. We've cleared, I think, five encampments already. Oh, nice. I get a real kick out of some of the things she says. And I'm in another room, so I'll just grab a few more things in here. Just to give you an idea. Nearly everything in this game is destructible. Like, quite literally, after you're, you're done taking stuff out of the room... Oh, I got way too much stuff. So what I'll do... I will dump off stuff that I really don't want, which would be this and this. I'll recycle all that, and as you can see, get components swap up over there. Confirm, recycle, confirm, thank you. And that's not going to be the right button. So we'll see what that picks up. If that made any kind of room, not really. Good enough. 
like I said, there's a lot involved in this game, and I hope I'm making it look easy, because I've been playing it for a while, but I am by no means an expert. Why are you doing this? Um, just a casual gamer, I thought I'd fire it up, play around, see what you guys think of it. And maybe wet your whistle on playing it too, and who knows? If you happen to be out there and you see somebody named the Quiet Legend running around on your map, that could very well be me. That's one. Take it down. Great time killer. Now, yes, this part did cost money. I think this I spent a whole Get ready. twenty bucks because it was on sale. It was totally worth it. Let's throw up my drone again if I can. Oh yeah, and I can die real quick. See, there's my shields up the left-hand corner there. My blue numbers. I need it to be something. Right now it's nothing, and that's not good. However, it regenerates really quick for me because I've got to set up a way where it will do that, which is really, really nice. Ten minutes left. Stay the course. These guys are not so nice. Here's a sword I picked up from somebody called a... I don't know what it's called, but it's cool. Very short worker, guys. At my level of character, I should not have this weapon. But like I said, met a guy in a random uh, encampment. Asked me, hey, you want a sword? I'm like, yeah, okay. So he just gave it to me. That happens. Another thing that happens is people ask, want to trade, want to trade? Yeah, I run into that a few times. Kind of like me. They want weapons that they're not able to get at their given level, but they're kind of annoying about how they go out wanting it. Oh, come on. This guy's just not nice. Now, if we get this encampment, I'll try and rescue that survivor if he's still alive. I'll show you that's another component. Oh, great. I don't have any blue glow. As you can see, I get it real close and dirty. This is a shotgun. Pushing on. We might clear the zone. I mean, really? How can you mess with a shotgun? Okay, so let's do this. Let's go back, get the present for wiping out that encampment. Now, I thought I saw blue glow over here somewhere. The reason why I like Katrina is she's fast, and she can do this thing called double jump. It's a real time saver. Oh, I gotta go down for it, apparently. Let's grab this. Oh, there's gotta be like a cave hole or something around here. Yeah, you don't want to fall off the edge because that's really, really bad. So where is this blue glow? Claiming to be down. Oh, I don't want to spend the whole round trying to find it. Well, there is no camp. Ooh, search, search campfire pits. You get this? Yeah. And ten. Search everything. Every little bonus helps, and you never know what you're going to come across. Well, that's just silly. Man, I can't take that because my backpack is full, and I have a limited capacity. I have 120 spots for it. And right now, with all my little wanderings and adventures, I fill it up really quick. And there's a whole system where you get rid of your stuff and get new stuff and craft and all that, but that that would take more than I can cover in 20 minutes in this video. That's not active. And of course the little voice will let you know. Get away from me, husks. <laughs> yeah, I love her little things that she says. Too funny. Yeah, I could go up there for that one. Ah, the survivor will make it. It's only a video game. There it is. Nearly everything is searchable. Crates, even outhouses. Another big fight. Here we go. And depending on the reception of this particular video, if you like it, I'll even show you how to get bacon out of toilets. Because only in Fortnite. You know what? Let's drop a little Armageddon on these guys. Watch this. I'll just sort of... I'll just get knocked down. And the nice thing is I get to come back to life. It's a lot nicer when somebody comes by and they hold their hand above me like uh, they're performing some sort of force trick from Star Wars and I come back to life. 
it looks like pretty much I'm doing this all by myself. I don't know what the like, supposed teammates are doing. Maybe a team-based game, but there's sometimes a teamwork problem. Oh, I'm very nearly... Yep, there I go again. Looks like I'm doing this pretty much all by myself. I don't want to get too far away, because what'll happen is it'll reset this, and I gotta do all these guys all over again. Okay, forget this idea. Let's just go in. As you can tell, it is very intense. Especially when you're by yourself, which obviously I am right now. Now there have been times where I've played out this entire level literally by myself. Nobody ever shows up to help me. And yeah. That's how you get the old heart of pumping at this age. And I don't, oh jeez. Five minutes left. It's only a bonus. We've already completed the minimum requirements of the five that you need to complete the level. And of course the bonus. A little bit extra. Experience points. And my machine gun's pretty useless. I should have actually built a nice one. I have a snowball launcher which looks really cool when it launches. Looks like I'm putting marshmallow on people. But I mean, they got the graphics really simplified in this, like this is not very cartoonish. Anybody who's familiar with Team Fortress Classic where they used to have They're against the ropes! Keep it up! I think it's Team Fortress Classic? Or was it Battlefield Heroes? One on the, the two. One. Check out your map. Can I even search this one? No I can't. Let's search this. Ammunition and stuff like that. I know my backpack's still full. Come on, get up there. Yeah, let's grab that blue glow. I already got the present, didn't I? Oh, I did. Oh, I was too busy moving on. Okay. Now I think that means there's another blue glow around here somewhere. There it is. Come on, get up there. Now, the, most of the ninjas can do this. There's a bunch of different classes. There's an uh, outlander, a ninja, a constructor. You know, just I'll build, uh, oh, is that enough to do it? I'm not very fast on the building, and that's really not what I wanted to have happened. I know there's a blue glow up there, isn't there? No, there's blue glow over here, so let's go this way. Claiming to be right here. Now, let's see if I can go back to where that point I was just laying around. Now, the update that came out this morning, which is February the, what, something something, 2019, they have hoverboards all over the place, so if you're using one of the other player classes, like Constructor, Outlander, life is pretty slow, so you can't move as fast as I can here. So here we go. So you ask for a robot to appear. Here we go. You know what to do. Give him the blue glow. He'll use his magical vision. This survivor has come back to life. And to show his gratitude, he gives you a present. Which hopefully will contain some nice stuff. Not really. That was a waste of time. Other than the fact that I rescued another survivor and it will come in handy. For something. That's right. Running Two minutes blazing. before I have to pull you out. And I think we should be able to get this done in time. Well, what do you know? My teammates are here. Let's have a look. What's going on over there? Oh, there's got to be somebody still left alive. You? Yeah, only one more. Oh, minute thirty-three to get one. See, like, one. I Check don't out your map. understand why he does this. Just a bit quite difficult. Minute 22. Can we clean up this level before the time? This is it. Out? Good luck. Let's grab this ammo box. Anything good? Well, ammo's always a good thing. Okay, let's just do a shooting withdrawal here. 
little bit. There we go. Good couple of shots. Ooh, my shields are definitely a little on the weak side. Here goes my health. Do a quick little walk around here. Come on, regenerate. Now I could probably, if I was fast enough, drop down what's known as a healing pad. Just run back and forth on that to get some life back, but I am not that good. Here it comes. 30 seconds left. Oh, did I get that drone up in time? I think I did. Now there are a limited amount of times you can respawn. See, respawn and start. 17 seconds will I make it in time. And how far away am I? I think by the time I figure out where I'm going, it's gonna be too late. Yes. Not the time. So we got three destroyed, so we didn't get them all. Because my teammates, I don't know what they were that doing. Was pretty cool to watch. Nevertheless. This is it. Good luck. And my gun broke. Your weapons don't last forever. Like I said, there's so much to cover in this one game that one video is just not enough. Like, there's so much micromanagement, like to explain how the scoring works, for an example. If you look on the right hand side, 21-230 is my mission score. We all usually get that. Combat means, obviously I was doing most of the heavy lifting in this round by shooting the most guys down and stuff like that. Building, I only did 6. He did 840, or 874 and 341. And then down at the very bottom, utility, I didn't really craft a whole lot. Uh, Santiago GC07 did, I didn't, and Egg Nippy did what he did. So, yeah. That is Fortnite. Save the world, destroy the encampments. This particular level on Plankerton, which is the second world you can go into, or the second map. The first one is called Stonewood, and this is about as far as I've got. It is what it is. So here's the end. Ooh, boosted XP. And at the end of every level, you get a crate. Usually you get a level 1 if it's a terrible defeat. And I think I've topped out a level 5. So here we go. Level 3. Only my team helped me more. So now we go back to our home base. We'll go through the loading screen. So I don't know if this screen's going to change. And you might have noticed that there's no music running in the background. Well, I've gotten rid of the music because too many of my YouTube videos, even if it's got video game music, oh, I get a copyright strike, and I just don't want to do that anymore. I'm tired of it. So this is what you get for level 3 loot. Hero XP. That's the main character you use. The more XP you get, you go up in levels, but then based on the map, you get capped at. I can go up to level 20 on Plankerton, and that's about it. Doesn't matter if I'm common all the way up to mythic. This is what you get. Gold. You can buy stuff with gold in the story. Really good. Really, really good. People come in handy, obviously, if you read the description. Used to transform heroes, survivors, defenders, and they just introduced something called expeditions. So while you're not playing, the game can sort of run-ish on the server and get you stuff. Now, each mission that you play has a little tag attached to it, like Killer Storms or something like that. Or there's a time limit if you can get it done. You get little bonuses, and obviously this is one of the little bonuses. More gold. Gold is a good thing. The top three things you want in this game currently as it stands right now before they change it is number one, gold. You want gold. Number two, something called V-Bucks. You earn that in missions or you can buy V-Bucks with real money. Microtransactions, this is how Fortnite makes its money and stays in business and keeps the servers running. So people who want to play can keep playing. And then they have one called Snowflake Tickets. You can also cash that in and get some really cool stuff as well. Like I said, it's a lot to take in. So anybody who is playing Fortnite Save the World, this is where I'm at. I'm level 125. I'm at Plankerton Defense number 4. 
and my current power is let's go to the map here I think I'm 43 34 34 a little dyslexic dyslexic there for you so 34 that's my character and if you want to see what she looks like assuming there's no bugs here this is Lynx Cassandra one of many many characters in Fortnite has saved the world and just in case you do play Fortnite this is how she's laid out for me so I'm capped out level 20 with 58 and all these other things that may or may not mean anything to you if you do play and if you don't play this is gonna look like Greek unless you speak Greek then this is gonna look like Chinese unless you speak Chinese then this, you get the idea nevertheless hmm this bug happens every once in a while there's my little quick one battle verbal diarrhea of Fortnite. If you actually sat through all that and then, you know, give yourself a thumbs up. If you actually enjoyed what you watched, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments in the section below. Do you want me to do more Fortnite videos? Which direction would you like me to go in? Or, dude, I've had enough. Just, just, just stop. Just stop. Leave those kind of comments in the section below and I'll look ahead and based on your feedback, will determine my future. I tried to keep up with what was going on, and I hope I didn't uh, either bore you to death or make you want to take Ritalin just to bring yourself down to a normal level. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.